Hey, Steve Zook here. Welcome back to Pokes Your Channel and the Guitar Ladder System for $1.99. Order at stevezookguitars.com. Scroll down the homepage. Hey, here's a, this is, I just now played this plugged in for the first time and uh, wow. This is really an interesting sounding guitar. This is a, a Gibson a Howard Roberts Custom and uh, they didn't make a million of these and you know, of course, Howard Roberts was one of the best jazz guitar players ever up there with anybody. Uh, he started the uh, Musicians Institute in Hollywood, great studio player, great, not just jazz player, just a great guitar player overall. But man, this is really a nice sounding guitar. It's got space around the note. That, that's how you tell a really high-end arch top is because they have a little bit of space around the note. It's kind of hard to explain. but And this is interesting because it has seems to have like a treble and a bass control on it too. It only has one pickup. But this thing really has an interesting voice. Uh, reminds me some of Gibson L5, which of course is a you know eight, nine, ten thousand dollar guitar. I'll come down a little bit in the in the volume in the treble here, but yeah, it's really guitar I really miss this I think I'm asking $39.99 there's some wiggle uh, but yeah I think this guitar is a good investment too because it's a 70s you know which is a vintage Gibson it's an artist endorsed model uh, you know Howard Roberts was a great I actually studied with with Howard Roberts teacher by the way I studied with Horace Hatchett about four or five times in my life and he actually taught Howard Roberts when Howard Roberts was a young man in Arizona. Yeah, this, uh, this really has a sound. Like I said, you can turn, see if I turn, if I turn the treble and the bass all the way down, you kind of get that sound. If I come up a little bit on the treble, but one of my complaints about a lot of jazz boxes is they have the pickup way over this way too much, like on a Gibson 175, and you lose a lot of a lot of beautiful jazz tone. This pickup, the pickup's right next to the right next to the fretboard, and uh, yeah, this is this has got a high end sound, no doubt about. It. In my opinion, it's uh, undervalued too, because it's an artist endorsed model. I mean, what if he, what if you know we're talking a Ibanez, Joe Pass, one of the original ones, and of course Gibson's even bigger than in you know Ibanez. But Gibson uh, has their issues. But this is a vintage guitar. Yeah, this is really, really a nice guitar. It plays really, really good. It's got a nice setup. Um, the, the pick guard was falling apart. I think they call it degassing or something. So I, mean, I didn't want to keep it in the case. It's not good for the guitar. So I, I pretty much chucked it. But uh, so it looks like it has a changed pick guard. But uh, yeah, this is really, this is a very high end guitar at, I think under, at an undervalued price. It just sounds beautiful. Neck has got a little bit of beef to it, you know. It's not a baseball bat, <laughs> but it's got a little bit of a, you know, kind of reminds me, like I said, of an L5. I like 
this guitar a lot. This would be a great guitar for doing the, the doing the guitar ladder system. Yeah, it's got it's got space around the notes and, and this these controls where you can get a little bit more treble and bass out of it. not too big but it's not too thin just maybe just a little more than medium it's real this is a really nice guitar it's always hard for me to sell stuff like this because I, I just love art stock guitars but there's something unique about this guitar presence to it. It's got the magic mojo. And I think the fact that it only has one pickup, I think you actually get more tone because when you have guitars that have more than one pickup, the magnetic field from the magnets it pulls sound off, off the guitar. Even if you're not using that pickup, it pulls sound from the strings. With this, you don't have another pickup pulling you know, sound off the strings. The pickup's in a the great location to get that really warm really warm tone and uh, like I said just sound just wonderful it's got a great setup uh, you know all the notes ring out clear it's got a little bit of wear here in the side of the neck right here um, but yeah this this is a lot of guitar in my ear and I've, I'm really spoiled I've had a lot of arch tops to my ear this has a high-end sound more like you know eight nine ten thousand dollar guitar but it's a hell of a lot cheaper right like I said I'm asking thirty nine ninety five a little bit of wiggle really sweet guitar I think a good way to put it is a little bit of an acoustic quality coming through, more about like air and space around the note. While still getting that great tone. Yeah, there, there's no other guitar out there that sounds like one of these Gibson Howard Roberts. This is a really well made guitar. And uh, it's a vintage Gibson, you know, it's a, it has a case, I think it's a Gibson case that comes with it. But yeah, this is really a nice guitar. The guy I bought it from said he even used to play it a lot on overdrive. Now, I've never played this guitar on overdrive. Let's see if we can give it a shot here. Now, I'm just using a solid state old PV, so don't expect a yeah. yeah, it really has a nice, I mean, it's mostly, a, I look at this guitar as mostly as a, 
mostly as a jazzy type box. But uh, it's got some interesting tones in there. Here's with a little bit more distortion. <laughs> Obviously, the strongest point of this guitar is it's got a high, it's got a high-end jazz sound. There's no doubt about it. I mean, not, not just a good jazz tone, but a high-end. That's just a very. I think I accidentally just turned the reverb off, but uh, I love, I love a little bit of digital delay. But yeah, this is a nice guitar. I'll, re I'll really miss. This is the kind of thing that's hard for me to let go because I just love arch tones. And the setup is just setup is just beautiful on this guitar. It's really easy to play. And you can get a lot of, you can get a lot of different, you know, tweaks just very simply done by moving the, uh, these other two knobs which seem to be kind of like a treble and a bass knob. But, but yeah. There's a clarity and this the tone of this guitar has what most a lot of jazz boxes don't, which is a really this guitar has again what most jazz guitars are weak in, which is the mid-range and the mid-bass. This guitar's got stellar mid-range and mid-bass. you just can't get out of your head you just start falling in love with it i don't think i'm going to have this guitar very long because people who bought guitars for me know i find some of the best guitars around I, it's, it's a lot of hard work but it's a don't remember it sounding as good as this one. This one really rings out, maybe because this is an older one. You know, the wood has aged. I mean, if it's a, if it's a 73 or 74, um, you know, that, that's a lot of age. You got what, like, uh, you know, 50, 60 years of the wood aging. It's got a, it's got a depth to it, man, the depth of the tone. I said the setup is just beautiful on this guitar it plays really good all the notes ring out um, it's got a couple little small little lines on each side from this just sitting in the stand but yeah this this is a lot of guitar <laughs> guitar has a beautiful, beautiful acoustic type quality, acoustic electric type quality that comes through where it creates a little bit of space around the nose. I think that pickup has some really old magnets in it too.
I think it's a seven, either 73 or 74. I'm going to get my reading glasses on. But yeah, this is really a lot of guitar. And in my opinion, in my opinion, I think it's undervalued because it's an artist endorsed. Yeah, it looks, looks like, it looks like 70, looks like 73. Yeah, I think it's 73. Um, it's an artist endorsed model. It's a, Howard Roberts was one of the best jazz guitar players ever up there with Joe Pass or Pat Martino or anybody. And uh, this is a, a Howard Roberts custom. It's a Gibson. It's vintage. This is a lot of guitar for, for, for four grand OBO. Uh, I can't, I don't want any ridiculous offers on it because this is a, just a, just a super guitar. But yeah, it's got, it's got a very musical quality to it. Just a really, that's some real tone. that when you can hear the acoustic quality around the notes which reminds me of like an old Gibson L5 CES that would cost you 20 30 grand you know yeah this this is really a nice guitar anyway this recently came in I'd love to keep it but I can't you know I can't keep everything I have and uh, somebody's gonna get a hell of a hell of a lot of value this is a, this is a lot of guitar for the money folks believe me it's not sales bullshit or sales fluff this is a lot of guitar for the money has a has a refinement a refined sound and it's got that mid-range mid-bass acoustic quality it's really hard to find in a quality arch top very few have it all right you can hit me up pokesu at gmail.com or text me 714-548-0385 comes with a case yes you need to pay some shipping no super low ball offers I mean, this is this is a really high quality i've been selling buying and selling for 35 40 years i specialize in arch tops this guitar has really got a voice it's very very special very special i love the headstock on it too i love i love that uh, flower inlay and everything it's a beautiful it's really a beautiful guitar it sounds unbelievable